Now in this demo we're going to take a look at installing a power supply. Power supply is the component that supplies all the uh, electrical power to every component in the computer system including the motherboard. It's a fairly simple install and so let's just take a look at how this, uh, how this would proceed. Okay, so here we have a, uh, a power supply. Just take a, a look at this, essentially just a, a box with, we've got a bunch of power cables coming out of it. And we're going to put that over to the side. The tools that you're going to need to install a power supply are a screwdriver, <laughs> four screws. Okay, so as we said, it's a, it's a fairly simple install. I uh, do need to match up the, the power supply that you're going to use with uh, the case and more specifically the, the motherboard uh, type that you want to use. The power supply is going to have uh, four holes, okay? These holes on, on the ends of the power supply and that's the side with the fan and the, and the plug-in of course that's going to interface back here uh, in the motherboard. So just go ahead and slide that down. Slide it in. Uh, some motherboards is going to be a somewhat tighter fit uh, than others. And then again, we just have uh, four screws, and those screws are going to be put into uh, the the holes that are on the back here. Okay, so we'll deal with that. We'll get one screwed in to hold it in place. Okay, so simply find those, catch up those holes with uh, some screws. Probably best that you don't tighten down the screws uh, immediately. Just so that we can make sure that we've got them, got it all lined up. It usually moves pretty easily, but you never know. Okay, and so that certainly does not have to be, you know, really torqued or anything. Because it's not going anywhere. The only thing that's really left is going to be to actually connect the various cords to the components that they need to supply power to. And we'll start with the, the motherboard connection. Uh, this is going to be a 24 or 20 pin connection, depending on your board. And then we've got the... Uh, area on the motherboard that we would find that that this would connect into, okay. And essentially, you just you, you you're just going to line this up and connect it like so. It's got a little latch. We just push down till we hear a click. Just kind of give it a little tug, uh, and and we're good. And just you know these these cables are flexible. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Again, you have to a lot of times cut the little wire ties as well. Okay, try to pull them back so that you can see what you're doing. Uh, this other area, the ATX 12 volt by the CPU, is my four-pin connector here. Again, there is a little notch on the side of it that you can look for, and this connector is keyed so that when you push it down, you hear a click. And again, just give it a little tug. Slightly, and it, it shouldn't go anywhere. Okay, then we look for the other drives that we have. Those might be SATA drives. It may be IDE drives like CD and DVD. That's what we have on this system. But actually, we have a couple. Okay, we've got a, an IDE drive down here. And so we'll connect power supply to that. And then we have two drives that are CD and DVD drives. So we'll locate the power cords on those. This goes in. Again, it really only goes in one way. And you just kind of want to carefully try to plan this out so that your cords can actually reach where they need to go. And sometimes that actually involves moving drives around depending on the power supply. Okay, Try to make sure these cords aren't uh, just laying around. 
Again, you can actually use your own twist ties or just kind of tuck them back in uh, in certain areas. You really just don't want them touching processor, memory chips, things like that. So, and after that's done, that's, that's pretty much it. Power supply has to be connected to the motherboard in a couple of different areas and then to each component on uh, the system and we're ready to go. And so that, that is the demo installing a power supply.